Hi everybody, it's December 19, 2017. Don't you wish that we could move to an area of the country, establish our own community, get rid of government, get rid of public schools, get rid of all of these federal agencies, get rid of major corporations, and get rid of all of the people who just don't give a crap about anything. I am so tired of having to suffer the consequences of people who clearly do not have a moral core, do not have uh, any care. They don't do a thing. They just want to live their comfortable life. They call us crazy. They still love government. And we get to suffer the consequences of their own apathy, of their own just leave me alone. Let me live comfortably. That's all I want to do. We have to suffer the consequences of this. Our food supply is virtually gone. It's poisonous. GMOs have taken over the food supply. All of the pesticides and herbicides and all of the chemicals that the EPA allows actually more and more use of pesticides, glyphosate in particular. The lies coming out of mainstream media, the lies coming out of our government officials, the lies coming out of our federal agencies like the EPA that do nothing to protect the American public, but do everything to poison them. And how many of you are not feeling well? How many of you have had Friends and family die due to the environmental toxins that we are so saturated in today. I cannot believe, yeah, I do not separate out those who do nothing. I do not separate out those fellow Americans of ours who continually call us crazy because we want a clean environment to live in, call us crazy when we try to tell them mainstream media or federal agencies, government officials, they are lying to us. These people who just accept the lies, the people who lie, I am so sick of it. When I get all of the comments from people and emails from people and private messages from people who do everything that they possibly can to feel better and they're still sick, they're still suffering, I include myself in there. Flawed U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, their analysis, glyphosate, is safe. It's not a carcinogen. Sorry about the foam. I I am yeah. Um and and the lies are so obvious, so incredibly obvious. And still, this is the life that we have to live. The abject insanity. We have to live. We're forced to live with these lying sacks of shit so unbelievably evil and we have to live this every single day. Yeah, the EPA comes out and says glyphosate poses no significant risks to humans. Six years, how many glyphosate videos have I posted on the dangers and our EPA comes out and says the no significant risk to humans. So what do they do? They allow more and more glyphosate to be used on all of our foods. Monsanto manufactures scientific studies and then use those studies to influence EPA, other regulators. Yes, the studies that prove that everything is safe 
Everything is safe. The pesticides, all of the herbicides, glyphosate, GMOs, the microwave frequencies coming from every gadget that we're saturated in. Everything is safe, guys. Fluoride in water, it's safe. Everything is safe. And yet we have an exponential increase in all diseases and syndromes, illnesses, exponential increase in cancer. And we can't even get our fellow Americans to look at, hey, why don't you just try to wonder how is it that we could now be embarking on a time when one in two will be diagnosed with cancer. And that doesn't beg a question in people's minds. Yes, the, the, the greatest enemy that we have is the apathetic American who just doesn't give a shit about anything but their own comfortable life. I'm unbelievably tired. Here, I will link below to this video. Stephanie Sneff, MIT scientist, giving a talk on the dangers of glyphosate. Here, gut-wrenching new studies reveal the insidiousness or the insidious effects of glyphosate. This is back in 2014. What does Dr. Stephanie Seneff say? Who is a research scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology? Well, what she says, to sum it up, glyphosate wrecks human health. It wrecks human health. Glyphosate is possibly the most important factor in the development of multiple chronic diseases and conditions that have become prevalent in westernized societies, including but not limited to autism, allergies, cancer, Parkinson's disease, Glyphosate may cause cancer at extremely low doses, but yeah, our APA relies on Monsanto studies. And you know what? I'm sorry. At this point, you try to talk to an American about this, and they could care less. Because they clearly are, I don't, I don't know, they, they just don't have the survival instinct anymore. We're surrounded by people who have lost their survival instinct, lost their moral center. Weed-whacking herbicide proves deadly to human cells. Glyphosate, our own government. Glyphosate, pathways to modern disease, diseases, celiac disease, gluten intolerance, allergies, this is posted on our government site. No, yeah. So our EPA relies on the studies that essentially it was Monsanto. If not directly, it was indirectly funded by Monsanto. Our EPA knows this, though, because there is a depopulation agenda. And then when you try to tell Americans about that, they are I don't know what they are anymore. Subhuman. Glyphosate studies. Independent studies. You want to see how long this list is? Let's see starts here. Spontaneous abortions. Cancer health effects. Well, it goes on and on and on and on. These are the studies. Pesticide, glyphosate studies that prove that glyphosate is damaging to our health damaging to our health. And our EPA has, has the friggin' audacity to say no significant health effects. 
How could they possibly do that? They can do it because Americans just don't care about anything anymore. We are such a sick, lying culture. They don't just, they don't care. They don't care about themselves. We've been so demoralized and so degraded. They care about nothing. Except what joy they can have every day. I think about the adults, what they are doing to the younger generations. I think about parents. They not protecting their kids from how toxic this environment has become. Oh, these studies, there's a lot of them. There's a whole lot of them proving how dangerous glyphosate is. Dangerous not just to the humans, but to farm animals, fish when it gets into water. This is what we are doing. We all do it. All of us, not just our EPA, Americans who never, ever hold anybody accountable for anything. Yeah. <laughs> right. Our EPA, they rely on Monsanto to give them the studies. Let's see. Glyphosate. European regulators didn't even read risk studies on Monsanto pesticide glyphosate. So guess what, guys? See, this is the problem with unions. This is the problem when you lose your own sovereignty and you join up and you become part of a European Union. Germany swings. European Union vote in favor of weed killer glyphosate. So guess what? Those countries that didn't want glyphosate are forced because of that union. Well, too bad. You don't have any sovereignty anymore. It's the European Union Commission that gets to decide for your own citizens for your own country, whether or not you will use glyphosate, an incredibly dangerous, what they call an herbicide. And you can thank Angela Merkel for that. Because it's coming in and you better believe that it's going to come in strong we're eating cloned meat, by the way. The FDA approved cloned meat. Oh, and guess what else? That milk, that milk that you are eating or drinking, I'm sorry. Cloned from cloned animals. Did our FDA do any kind of studies to find out if they're dangerous? Oh, it was the industry that produced those studies. And Monsanto is paying farmers to use its controversial pesticide. A new one here. What is this? It's uh, Extendi Max with vapor grip, an herbicide based on a chemical known as dicamba. The incentive to use Extendi Max aims to refund farmers over half the sticker price of the product in 2018 if they sprayed on soybeans that Monsanto engineered to resist it. Sprayed on your GMOs. See part of, or I shouldn't say part, a huge part, a huge factor in why we can't get anywhere is because so many Americans 
are so easily bought out. So many Americans. Money, money, money. Now I got to stay in my comfortable job. I know I'm, I'm, you know, contributing to the evil, but I got to stay there. I got to keep doing that. Because, you know, I, I want my new cars and I want my comfortable life and I... Well, they continue to show up at jobs that destroy, destroy other people, even themselves, because they don't care. They're comfortable. They're living a fine life. Won't give it up. Farmers, all right, I'll take your money. I'll spray our foods with the next dangerous pesticide of Monsanto's. All links are below.